Hello, my lovely people. How are you doing today? Today, we're going to be doing a really fun day to night sky replacement tutorial in Photoshop. Now, before we dive into the tutorial, make sure to download the pictures in the description below. I'm going to start off by opening up a picture of a girl in a field. Once you've done that, just make sure to double click the background layer. We're going to make this a regular layer and we're going to go to edit sky replacement. So go ahead and click this little arrow here, go to add, and then find your sky that you want to replace it with and press open. And then select the picture. And then we can modify some of these settings here. I'm going to just move the fade edge to around here. And then I'm just going to leave everything the same. Everything else is fine. Press OK. So you see that it creates a sky replacement group over here. I'm going to go ahead and just click this off. We need to adjust this part of the picture so that it fits in with this new gloomy background we have here. Go ahead and make a new layer and then right click the layer and click create clipping mask. When we create a clipping mask, that means that anything we do to this layer will only affect the layer below it. We're going to take our paint bucket tool and just grab a color from this palette. I'm going to go with a dark blue, press OK. And then I'm going to fill the layer like this. Now that that's done, we're going to click layer one and we're going to change the blending mode to a hard light like this. This is already looking so good. We're just going to make some tweaks here. We can adjust the opacity over here. So I'm just going to bring it down just a tad. And then we're going to make another clipping mask here. So we're going to go into our effects and we're going to select curves and then we're going to clip the curves to this picture here. And we're going to just adjust the lighting a bit here. I'm going to just bring it up. And then maybe play with the contrast a bit. I think around here is good. And then I'm going to make an overall curves that adjust this whole layer. I'm going to bring it up all together here. You can make a saturation layer here and play around with that if you want to boost the colors. I might just boost it by a little bit. And then that's pretty much it. This has completely transformed the image into a very gloomy storm, mysterious scene here. So I think that's really cool. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to the You Obsess channel for more videos. I hope you have an awesome day, folks. Bye.